Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at what the heck is going on with my face. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called Liquify. Hello everyone, as mentioned, today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called Liquify in the editor module and you can use it to enhance your portraits or just have a bit of fun. So let's get to it. All right, so we've got the editor module open already and with this portrait where we've already made color adjustments and retouching in the develop module. Now let's select liquify and since we only want to make subtle adjustments to our portrait, the facial features tool is gonna be plenty enough. All right, first I'm gonna demonstrate how we can use the liquify tool to make those subtle adjustments to your portraits that actually enhance them versus making them look like caricatures or just something that no one's gonna take you seriously. Um, we always want it to look natural when we're working with portraits, so let's get to that. The same rule applies when retouching blemishes in portraits. Don't overdo it. If you do, it can look like plastic surgery or a terrible case of Botox gone wrong. All right, first let's duplicate my layers. So I'm gonna keep the original photo intact and have a copy for comparison. This chain icon that I enabled means that I'm making adjustments to both eyes simultaneously. If we disable it, my adjustments now are only going to affect one eye. The left slider is gonna be for the left eye. And of course, the right is gonna be for the right eye. Now it's a good idea to leave this enabled for symmetrical adjustments. And if your model looks like they have one eye that goes a little more to the side, you can edit it just like this. To correct the wrong lens profile that made the face look wider, I'm gonna lower face width and jawline width and also nose width. And right away, I think it looks much better than it did before. All right, now let's look at a different side of using the Liquify tool, and that's gonna be more of having fun and maybe even creating some kind of caricature. The concept of a caricature is to make fun of someone by overemphasizing their facial features. And since I don't wanna make fun of anyone else, it'd be a good idea to make fun of myself, but in this case, we're actually gonna make fun of my colleague Vanda. Now again, let's remember to duplicate the original layer, and I'm gonna use Vanda's words, not mine, uh, her cheeks are a bit bigger, so I'm going to increase the face width and jawline width. Now, she also thinks that her forehead is smaller, so we're going to decrease the forehead height. And to accentuate the cheeks, we're going to lower the chin height. Now, don't be afraid to go a bit crazy here with the sliders, because when doing caricatures or having fun like this, it's what these sliders are for and what it's all about. Now, let's adjust the nose next so we can leave the eyes for last. Now again, using her words, she says her nose is pretty small compared to her cheeks, so let's reduce the width and move it up. Now she usually likes to pucker her lips when having her picture taken, so let's emphasize the lower and upper lip and increase that smile. But because we puckered the lips and we pulled them in, let's lower the mouth width. Now back to the eyes, let's increase the size of the eyes and move the eyebrows a bit lower and let's move the eyes just a little bit, slightly. Now to emphasize the size of the cheeks, let's go to stretch. Now we're gonna put the diameter of the stretched area to the sides of the cheeks and increase it even more. Now, she came up with this by herself and we all think in this caricature, she really does look like a hamster. And I think that's enough for now. And so that's the liquify tool. In some ways you can use it in a fun, or also a more serious and professional matter when doing those portraits, make sure you keep those adjustments really subtle. And when you're doing the caricature stuff, go overboard, have fun. Make fun of your family, make fun of your friends, all, all kinds of good stuff. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscription bell so that you never miss another video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Ciao.